and welcome to our next episode of the English Basics series with our Robinson family. Today, I am going to give you a house tour. So we're going to learn all the vocabulary that you might need for getting around the house. Let's get started. Welcome to the Robinson house. Here we have the front door. The front door is the first door you enter going into a home. This is the front door. These are the stairs. The stairs are what you walk up and down to get to different floors. And this is the first floor. This is the second floor. In the UK and some other countries, first floor is actually ground floor and that can get a little confusing. So it depends which country you're in or which person you're talking to. But thankfully, stairs are always the same. Here we have the living room. This is the living room where you spend your time reading books, playing games, sitting by the fireplace, or watching TV. Usually in a living room, you have a sofa. This is a sofa. Some people say couch, couch. I say both, I say sofa or couch. By the sofa or couch, we have what we call a coffee table. This is a coffee table, probably because people can put their coffees on it. This is a bookshelf, bookshelf. As you can see, it holds all the books in a house. This is a fireplace. The fireplace is where you go to warm up and be cozy. This is a hallway. A hallway is a special thin room to get you from one room to the other. This hallway takes us to the kitchen. Here we have a refrigerator refrigerator. We sometimes shorten that to fridge. We have a coffee maker here. The kitchen sink. Or you can just say sink. The oven. The oven is here. Stove top is here. Here we have the laundry room with the washer and dryer. The Robinsons also have a sitting room. This is usually a secondary room, so not necessarily the living room. And you can say dining room, but since this area is not separate, from the rest of the house. I would call this the dining area. We have a dining table and dining chairs. And another fireplace here. The Robinsons are so lucky. Hunter Robinson is sitting in an armchair. We call that an armchair and his dad is sitting on an ottoman. That's an ottoman. Now we're heading back to the entry room. The entry room is the first room you go into in a house. Not many homes have entry rooms, but the Robinsons have a big house. So now we're going up the stairs with Hunter. We're now in the bathroom 
We have the toilet. We have the shower. And this shower has a bathtub. We also have the bathroom sink and some furniture for storage. We're going to go through this door. So at the top of a staircase, we call this the landing. Like you're landing a plane or something, but we do call this the landing area. Next, we're going to the master bedroom. The master bedroom is the biggest bedroom in the house. And usually that's where the parents sleep or the homeowners sleep. We have a double bed, or you could say king or queen size bed, depending on how big it is. King size is the biggest or California King is the absolute biggest. Here we have a vanity. A vanity is this table and chair and mirror. This is a mirror. And we're looking out the window onto the street. Here we have a closet. A closet is where we store clothes or other items. We're in Hunter's room now. He has his bed next to the window. He also has a bulletin board. A bulletin board is a board where you put posters or other little pieces of paper with information on it. He also has a calendar. And this is a dresser. So he doesn't have a closet. He puts his clothes into a dresser. And finally, here we have the backyard. I know it's nighttime, so it's not easy to see, but the backyard is the back of the house where you have your garden, your play sets. Here we have a swing set a garden shed and we have some planters here to plant maybe vegetables, flowers, or fruits. And that is our tour of the Robinson's house. Okay, so that's our house vocabulary. I hope you learned a lot of new words today. Please let me know in the comments if there are any words you might still be confused about or if there are any words you'd like me to explain a little bit more. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe for more. Have a great day. Bye.